Okay. Okay. Now, if uh, al you have epsilon is alphabet, uh, the ba a basic symbols uh, than a regular definition is a sequence of definition of the form definition one equal to regular expression one regular expression two. So what is this? This is nothing but. Uh, and uh, regular definitions are uh, nothing but uh, you can say more small part of regular expression okay are known as the regular definition so you can see here uh, d1 equal to r1 that means what r1 is a small regular expression and this is also called as regular definition okay so it is called uh, what what is it, is it written here that if epsilon is an alphabet of basic symbols then a regular expression is sequence of definition of the form this so you can understand this uh, small parts are what uh, regular expressions and a sequence of regular expression together when you put you can call it as a regular definition okay now each di is a new symbol for, uh, sorry, is a new symbol not in epsilon and not the same as they are uh, uh, same as any other of the definition D. So each D is different from other definition. Okay, so each RI that means each regular expression is a regular X and you know, RI is regular expression over the alphabet. Mm, epsilon union this definition okay so basically the, the concept is that uh, you know, when we generate complex regular expressions from our uh, small regular expression we can treat uh, the small regular expressions as a uh, you know uh, the alphabet basically we can treat them uh, like ri okay <coughs> by restricting ri to the alphabet set and previously defined uh, definition, this is we avoid recursive definition. That means, uh, I know once you have uh, defined something, some regular expression, we will not define it again if it required in the language. Okay, we will try to use the same definition. Okay, so and we can construct a regular expression over. Uh, epsilon alon with each of the regular expression ri okay how we can do it first replacing uh, the uses of d1 in r2 which cannot use any of the sorry any of the d's except d1 then replace seeing using the d1 and d2 in r3 and r1 uh, <laughs> and uh, you know r2 and so on so you understand so um, how will the complex regular expressions are uh, basically designed uh, that is the in this way so we first uh, write a small regular expression r1 then we will write r2 but then but when we are going to r2 we are going to redefine this r2 uh, this r2 will contain r1 instead of uh, you know definition of uh, R1. Okay. So finally, Rn will be replaced H di for i equal to n minus 1 by the substituted version of Ri. So each of which has only symbols of mm, epsilon. So the final regular expression of what you will generate, which is a little big uh, regular expression, which will have all the symbols of uh, symbols form. The alphabet said instead any r1 r2 inside it understand so this is the word uh, now example <coughs> c identifies a string of letters digits and underscore here the regular definition of the language of c identifiers now we shall con conventionally use Italics for the symbols uh, 
uh, defined in the regular expression, but uh, here the ital italics are not used. Okay, now we can write letters equal to all the capital letters, then small letters, okay, and underscore. Digits are basically all 0 to 9. Now we can say that identifier is letter underscore letter um, or digit whole star. Okay, so and you know, somebody can say this is R1, this is R2, and so this is R3. So when you are writing R3, instead of using R1, R2, what you are using? You are using letter underscore here, and you are using letter underscore or digit, or, you know, the whole star. So this is the way of uh, writing in a bigger expression. Okay. Example that uh, assigned a number, integer or floating point, whatever, are a string such as 5 to 8 0, or 0 0.0, 0 uh, then you know, 1 to 3 4, then 6 point uh, some exponential number, or 1 point uh, some exponential. Okay, so these uh, numbers, if we want, if we want a regular expression for these numbers, then uh, how you can do it step by step? First, you define digit. So what are the digits? Zero to nine you define. Then you define. So this is uh, say R one. Then R two. Is it digits? So in digits, instead of writing, uh, you know this again, you use what digit? Digit star. Okay. Then digit followed by multiple digits. Okay. <laughs> Then uh, operational function is like a function uh, dot digit. That means that the fractional part will be added like this. Or if there is no fractional part, it is uh, concatenated uh, with uh, F0. So R is given. Okay. Then op optional uh, exponent. Uh, uh, this is again optional. Okay. This exponent can be can, may not be there, or the exponent can be in this part. Okay, and then come to number. Number you can write like digits. Uh, optional uh, fraction, then optional exponent. Okay, so that we will have the final regular expression for uh, our uh, for our uh, number. Okay, so. Then uh, there is something called abbreviations. Okay, the basic operations generate uh, all possible regular expression, but there are common abbreviations used for convenience. Typically, for example, if you see R plus, it is a basically abbreviation of R R string because if you think about R star, it means Epsilon, R, 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 and so on. But uh, if we want uh, to generate at least one R, then a repetition of R, then how we can write? We can write it like R, R star. So uh, this R star will generate anything, will be concatenated to one R. Okay, and that is abbreviated as R plus. Understand? Then there is R question mark. So meaning is that R either R presents or it does not present. Okay, if it is not present, that means epsilon present here, that is empty string present here. Okay, so we can write a, 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 the meaning is like a, a R or epsilon. Okay, zero or one occurrence of R, you can say, right? A to Z, that means what? Uh, either character from the alphabet A to Z, okay, one character in the given range. Uh, if you write instead A, B, X, Y, Z, that means what? You are saying that out of A, B, X, Y, and Z, one of the character is given, okay? <coughs> So these things, uh, I think you understand. They were already uh, practicing the legs, so, so you know it, right?
Then uh, some other examples that are here, uh, you know, some regular expression, uh, you know, we can say constructs are here uh, and uh, the meaning of them. So if plus is there, so it is a single plus character, uh, exclamation is single exclamation character, equal is single equal character, uh, not equal to is two character sequence. Okay, it is going to be treated by lexical analyzer as two character sequence. Less than equal to is uh, again two character sequence and x y z z y if you see this is a five character sequence. That means here we will understand um, this concept of uh, symbols and string length. Okay, so here w equal to if you find x y z z y. So this is nothing but a string represented by w, which is having length. A five, so we can say mod w equal to five. So in the same way, uh, you know, uh, mod exclamation equal to then the length is two. Okay, so this is what is uh, uh, then <laughs> extension of regular expression. First one is one or more instances. The unary postfix operator, uh, uh, no, the, the, like uh, plus, represent the positive closure of a regular expression and its language. So we already understand what uh, plus means. That is, if R a regular expression, then R plus means that uh, language L R plus. Okay, that means in the language the strings can be repeated uh, more than one time. Okay. The operator plus the same precedence and associativity like uh, you know star or closure operator. You already know it, uh, I think. Uh, then two useful algebraic laws are here. Uh, you know, we have already explained about this. R star equal to R plus. Either you know occurrence of R will be there or epsilon will be there. Okay. Then R plus can be also written equal like this R R star or in the reverse way R star R because this uh, star operation is commutative, uh, so it can be you know, other side it can it will be give you the same result. Yeah, okay, okay. So uh, relate the Kenley closure and positive closure. Uh, so this is uh, called uh, can. Uh, clinic closure, the star, and positive closure is plus. Okay, this is how they, they are related. Okay, zero or one instance. The unary postfix operated question mark means that either zero instance or one occurrence happens. Okay, that means if you put R question mark, it means that either R, R occurs or it does not occur. Okay, or put another way. That language R question mark is given by L R union another language which is having only empty string. Okay, the question mark operator has same precedence associativity and associativity as an uh, clinic closure and positive closure. Then character classes. The regular expression a one to a n. Okay, where a i R is symbol of the alphabet. Okay, can be replaced by shorthand in bracket. They say one a two and a n. So like we do in our next program, the same uh, notation it is speaking about. Okay, so when a one a two and so on up to a n uh, from logical sequence, that is. Uh, Consecutive uppercase letters, uh, lowercase letters, or digit, we can replace them like this. A1 to AN, okay, that is, uh, uh, you know, uh, that's just the first and last uh, character or the symbol separated by the hyphenation, or hyphen, okay? But if you write ABC only in the box bracket, it means that A or B or C. And uh, this notation you understand, I believe. Okay. 
Uh, now, here is the example. Use this shorthand, we can uh, rewrite the regular definition. <coughs> For example, uh, 3.5 as it is, it is taken from the book. So, it is there. Right. so Letter underscore equal to a to j and capital A to j to small a to j and underscore. Then digit is zero to nine. ID is uh, given by this. We have already discussed in uh, just uh, in, our, in, our, in our current class. Okay. Then <coughs> the regular definition of uh, example with this can be also be simplified as you can see digit equal to 0 to 9, digits equal to uh, digit plus a number equal to digits dot digits. This is what uh, to know. Okay. So this is a dot uh, digit. This is optional. Either the fractional part will be there or an after dot there should be there. Uh, uh, there should be something or there should not be anything. Okay. So question mark. Again, the exponent. Plus minus cosine, plus minus sign may be there, may not be there, and or the whole thing, the whole exponential thing, may not be there or may be there. So question mark. Okay. So this is what uh, to note here. Okay. Then recognition of token. Build a piece of code. Uh, build a piece of code that examines the input string, and find a prefix that. Uh, that is a lexem matching one of the pattern. Like you can see here, statement, if expression, then some statement. Or, see our sign is here, this vertical bar. If expression, then some statement, else some other statement. Or, epsilon, that is nothing. Okay, then ex expression can be a term, a relational operator, and term. Like, I understand. So it can be A less than B. If A less than B, then A is a term, B is a term. And this uh, relational operator is, this is uh, relational operator. OK. So this is what is A. Then uh, term can be identi identifier, it can be a number. So here I, you know, this A and B are identified. Okay, or it can, if somebody can write, if in bracket, A less than 100. So 100 will be a number. Uh, less than is the relational operator. A is identified. Okay, so this is how uh, we can uh, recognize the token uh, uh, using physical analysis. So, for example, if you see the terminals can be if, then, as uh, relational operator, ID, numbers, okay, whatever uh, name of tokens, okay? And patterns can be all these uh, regular expressions, correct? Uh, we already discussed about them, okay? Relational operators and all. Okay, white spaces can be blank tab and new line or repetition of them. Okay, <coughs> and uh, finally, you have uh, this kind of uh, regular sorry grammar which uh, contains uh, this kind of body, and these bodies are kind of regular expression. You can see. Okay, so to token their pattern and attribute value. So, uh, lexem, so any white space, WS is white space here. So, token name is uh, not entered, no token name is given here for white space, and there will be no attribute value because they are white spaces. Now, if, it, if is a keyword, right? So, token name will be given as if only, and there will be no attribute value because it is a keyword. Then you can see then. <laughs> token name will be then itself, else, else itself, you uh, know, any ID. Then if it is an ID, then attribute value will be pointer to the table entry. So the table entry means symbol table, symbol table entry at which uh, 
uh, you know, row in the symbol table, that uh, ID is entered. Then the number. Again, the numbers are also entered in the symbol table, so it will have pointer to the symbol table. Okay. If it is uh, some lexem which is relational operator, like less than, less than, equal to, equal to, uh, okay, all these uh, are there, then its attribute value will be given like this, you know, LT, that means what? Less than, LE, less than, equal to, EQ, uh, equals, okay, not equal, uh, greater than, okay, so greater than, equal to, GE. So, like this attribute values can be given. Now, transition diagrams. This is another very important thing. You know, convert the pattern into uh, stylized flowchart or we called as transition diagram. The transition diagram.